Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Listen to Lance. Hey, I did this uh, little whiteboard with some of our academy owners, um, people in the martial arts, gym business, um, but this really goes across any platform, whether it be service or membership-based business, um, even products. Um, go ahead and check this video out. Um, tap out the tap out the uh, the like button down there um, and subscribe. But check this out. I'm going to give you the the three ideas. Whether it's better to increase price, whether it's better to get more people, whether it's better to get a longer lifetime out of those people, um, and which one's going to be better? Um, keeping all the variables the same. So check out the video and let me know what Screen. you think. So hey, check this out. Uh, so I want to jump right into this. Um, why or what is the best opportunity or best reason to change? up either pricing um, get people to stick around longer or is it better to just grab as many members as you can so um, I'm gonna jump right in not gonna be able to see my screen right now because uh, the this, the board I have set up but uh, I will check it here at the end um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dive right in um, if you're like this if you if you know anybody that needs this information we just had a really great conversation uh, in the group about pricing and, and what to price and how much people are pricing and things like that uh, so I thought it would be a great time to kind of just roll out this and actually like let's look at the numbers and see what we have going on. Um, so um, which is better, right? Which way is going to be better? Is it better to get more students? Is it better to get uh, them to stick around longer? Um, or is it better to raise a price? Uh, and this is going to be, you know, there's a lot of variables that go into something like this. But um, what I want to show you is um, keeping everything constant. Um, so we're just going to kind of go with the industry average and we talk to a lot of academy owners um, and this is kind of typically what we see. Most people are around 100 students. Um, they're charging around 100 um, and you know they might be at 150 or they might be at 130 or 170 but when you start to do the math it usually breaks down to they're around 100, 109 dollars. Um, so uh, if that's the case uh, let's go with a industry average which is on the higher side um, but at 20 percent profit margin so just kind of using these numbers we're going <clears throat> we're going to say that um, with 100 students uh, times 100 dollars times a profit margin of 20 percent um, so 20 percent uh, we're going to end up making uh, at the end of the at the end of the month about two thousand dollars okay so about eight thousand dollars of that $10,000 is gonna go into cost, uh, building, rent, utilities, uh, you know, all of the advertising, all of the stuff, right? That 8,000 is gonna be kind of our cost. And then we're gonna make 2,000 in profit, okay? So this is gonna be the base that we use for all of our calculations. Um, and we're gonna to start to dip in, right? We're gonna go with like a one-year idea. Um, so 2,000 a month is what we're making in profit um, on a $10,000 a month income. So um, let's jump right into the students, right? And that's what most people always want. Like, oh man, I want to get to 200 students. But um, what does doubling the students do, okay? So um, basically our formula that we're figuring this out, if you want to, if you want to play with any of this, it's going to be um, amount, uh, the price that we're doing, uh, times the students, the number of students. Um, that's going to give us basically a revenue number. Um, and then our revenue number is going to be times... Um, our margin right so 20 percent margin 30 percent margin 15 if you know what you are you can use that um, and then that's going to get us a profit at the end so if we jump over here we we look at doubling those students right which like i said everybody always wants to double the students but what does that do to us number wise right so if we double the students right so we're still at a hundred dollars for our price point we're at 200 200 students now um that's gonna put us at $20,000 a month. Um, that's great. But also typically what's gonna, what we're gonna see with that is our margin, even if we keep our margin the same, we may be able to reduce or add a little bit to that margin, but let's just keep it the same for ease. Um, you know, now our cost has gone from 8,000 to 16,000. We need more space, we need more instructors, we need more insurance, we need more electric, we need more classes, um, more advertising. All of those things will add up. Um, and so now we've basically doubled our 2000 right? So our $2,000 a month that we were making before, uh, we're gonna double that. So we're gonna be making 4,000 a month. So that's great, like we double our students, we double the amount of money that we make. Um, so that works out great, I love that, 2X, right? So we 2X our original profit by doubling our students. So that's a great option and that's what most people kind of look to do. 
hey, I've got a bunch of people, I want to get more people in the door. The problem with that is we have limited amount of space, right? Uh, we talked about that a little bit on the, on the post today as well. If you're at 50% capacity, or if you're only allowed 15 or 20 people in your gym at a time, like you have to add more classes, which again is going to add more costs, which again is going to lower that uh, profit at the end of the day. So doubling students is great. You're going to double that revenue, like I said, um, because of those added costs, right? So we went from uh, 8,000 a month to 16,000 a month for our cost. Um, but we did double our profit, which is at the end of the day what we're looking to do, right? So not a bad option. Option B, right? Doubling the amount of time that they stay there. So if the typical person is going to stay there for one year, if we say we double them and, and keep them there, or just say one month, we keep them there for one month, that's $2,000. If we keep them there for two months, um, you know, what does that do, right? What happens if we double that? So we're going to go back and, and really... Um, if we double the students and double the lifespan of that student, it's really going to be the same thing. So it's still this formula, right? Because um, we're just adding, you know, another hundred students the next month or keeping the same hundred students the next month. So what does that do? Um, basically, again, the math is going to be the same because, again, we, we uh, applied that same principle, right? We had to double the classes. We have to still pay for the same stuff. All of that is going to be the same. So we're going to get that $20,000 at the end of the second month, um, but our profit has also um, doubled because we still have that 16,000 that we have to spend for classes for the stuff, right? So really what's gonna happen is um, keeping all of these things the same, we're still gonna make that 4,000. So we're, again, we're 2Xing that original um, amount that we spent. Uh, so uh, as we do that, we're going to 2x that, so we make 4000 again. Great. We double the amount of time somebody sticks around. We double the profit again. So that works really well. Now, price. And this is why I harp so much on price, because, again, keeping all of these things the same, you're going to see the power of just raising the price. So if we can double our price, you're going to see the power of that, right? So um, let's, just, uh, let's just do this right here. So really this, is, this formula is going to stay the same, right? So we got $200 times the 100, right? So $200 times the 100 students that we typically would have um, based on these same numbers. And so now what we've done is we've made that 20,000, right? We've made that 20,000, but our costs have not increased. We, had, we didn't have to get more instructors. We didn't have to get more classes. We didn't have to get more insurance for these people. So really our 8,000, is still going to be our cost, okay? So now we have a $12,000 profit margin at the end. Um, so uh, when we have a $12,000 profit margin, now we've 6X our original 2,000, uh, and we've 3X any of these other options that we're looking at, right? And again, this is keeping all of these options the same because now what I've done is I've doubled the amount of money that we've gotten for these students, right? We've gone from 100 to 200, which is gonna take us to that 20K again, but none of our expenses needed to double because we didn't have to add anything. We're keeping that same 100 students. We don't need more instruction. We don't need more time. Everything else is gonna stay the same. So we can continue at that $8,000 uh, for that profit, or I'm sorry, for that cost. So now we have a $12,000 profit at the end of the month. So that is where the price change is gonna be so, so important for you. You want to raise that price and you don't have to double it, right? You could, you could go 30%, you could go 20%. And when you start going 20 or 30%, then you're gonna see a 2X, right? So if you go from 100 to 125 or 100 to 130, like you're gonna see a 2X. Um, but the more you can raise that up and the closer you can get that to that 165 or 200 price point, you're going to be better off um, with your business. You don't have to add those costs. You don't have to get more employees. You don't have to use more utilities. All of the things that come along with more students, which seems really great, um, also increases all of that, um, that cost each month. So um, look at doubling your price. Look at raising your price. It's going to bring more money into the back end of your business. You don't need to do anything else. You literally can just raise your price and make more money. Um, and that's what you should really be focusing on um, as a business owner, because really when it comes down to it, if you don't have profit going uh, into this business, if you're not making enough money, 
you're not going to be able to survive. You're going to constantly be in the, the kind of idea of like, I need more space. I need more instruction. I need more classes. And all of that keeps bringing more money into the play. And then from there, again, you keep having to get more place, more students, more instruction. It never ends. It's a vicious cycle. So what we can do is we raise the price and now we start to limit the amount of people that are coming in, but those people are paying more, they're more bought in, and it's a better product moving forward. Um, cool, uh, I'm gonna cut it short now. Uh, I'm gonna go eat some lunch, and uh, I hope that helped everyone. Like I said, if you're interested, if you need the five frameworks, put five in the comments. We'll make sure to get you those five frameworks. And again, thanks for watching. Um, if you got anything you want me to talk about, please put it in there. Andrew, we'll make sure to get you that. All right, hope everyone has a great week. Get out there and crush it. Motivation Monday, let's make some money, and uh, we'll move forward from here. All right, thanks everybody.